Bucilla. And this is Bless This Nest. And that adorbs. Look at that. Look at it. Um, and I've gotten a good portion of it done, I think. Oh, no, I did it. <laughs> oh, man. I thought that I was a lot further along than I was. Huh. That's all I've done. I thought I was almost done with it. Obviously not. I did the feather. I have this. That's all I've got. Wow, I thought it was further than that. Okay, I guess I won't put this in my pile to like finish up because I thought it was a lot farther along. Wow. <laughs> I don't know why I thought it was further. Um, yeah, so anywho. But that was super cute. I've had that for a number of years too. And it's being stitched on 14 count white, Ada. If I see what the fabric is on the on the kit, I'll, I'll tell you. I mean, it comes in a kit, but I know some people like stitching on certain types of fabric. So if you don't like stitching on a certain count, you might not like the kit. Or you could just know, like get it, knowing that um, you would have to switch the fabric out. Okay, next up. Is this a kit? Yes. This is an artiste kit from Cooler Design Studio, is the designer, and it is an Irish blessing. And it's the, it's the one that I think I'll, just about everybody knows. It uh, says, may the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warmly upon your face. May the rain fall softly on your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. I had originally gotten this to stitch and give to my mother-in-law when I was married because her family is of Irish descent and she is really into all things Irish. I am obviously, if you have watched any of my other videos, you know I am not married anymore. But if I finish this, and I don't come across anybody else that's Irish, I'll probably go ahead and just give it to her anyway. Because, I mean, I've got kids, that, so I'm still in contact with her. So I have literally one line of the Irish Blessing stitched. The one about the wind at your back. That's all I have. Now, I do remember I was getting irritated because I don't know what type of thread this is. But I remember I was getting irritated because the thread kept, the black thread kept, um, what's it called? When you're like stitching and then all of a sudden you're just like, oh, what, what in the world? And you know, I think you guys know what I'm talking about. I don't know where this thread came from, but I'm also wondering if maybe it was the needle I've read a few different things about like if the needle has like a burr in the eye of it. I don't think it's the fabric because it's a 14 count fabric. But the thread would just like kind of, what is the word? It would just like kind of fray and pull apart and like fall apart on me and it got really annoying and I think that's why I put it down because this is not difficult to stitch whatsoever. So I think that's why I put it down was because of that. How did I have this in here? Oh my God. There. All right, next up. Oh, this is another kit. Um, this is from, this is a Jan Lang kit. I was looking to see if the design, designed by Fiona Jude. And this is called Goodnight Bears. Isn't that cute? It is so adorable. Why do I have all the flosses written on here? I have all the floss numbers written on the back. Why is that? I don't know. I did some weird stuff when I was younger. Uh, 
that's how far I got. I got a couple blocks. Let me see. It's like right in the middle. So I've got a couple blocks here. And then this is part of the uh, sky and the uh, part half of a star on the mobile. And then that's the start of the bear's head. It's really cute. I don't know anybody with a baby. I don't know any, well, I do. No, I do actually, I do. Not, uh, let me rephrase that. I don't know anybody that I'm close enough with that I would spend the time on this and uh, get it completed and finished, fully finished to give to them, if that makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense to you or not. Uh, let me see, next up. I was going to have this be a mania start and I do have an idea of what I do for Mania next year in another year, so we'll see how that goes. This is a, um, a kit from Design Works, and it is Home Sweet Home. I think that's what they call it. Yeah, Home Sweet Home. This is another Black Ada stitch. So, yeah. I have not started this yet. So that's all I'm going to show you. But it is stitched on 14 count black Ada. It's going to be really cute when it's completed. Oops, that fell. Okay, next up is another Design Works kit that I have not started yet. And this is a wedding sampler. Um, I think the design, wedding ABC. And this is, I believe, the designer is Krista Hamrick. And I have discovered that I really, really enjoy doing these ABC samplers. So this one is all about a wedding. So, A is anniversary, B is bells, C is cake, D is devotion, E, everlasting love, F, faith, H, hold, I, I do. Um, and then you put their names up here. And then let's see, our wedding day. And then you put the wedding date down here. Um, it always, it always uh, makes me curious to see what they do for the weird letters. Like Q, quarrel, oh, quarrel quarrels, like, you know, fighting, quarrels, never. And then X is extraordinary, extraordinary adventure. So I've actually thought about doing some of these, like designing some myself in different themes because I did one that was like, um, I did one that was, um, I was gonna actually try to look for it and show you guys, but I don't know, I don't know where I put it. I did one that was uh, sewing, like crafty related, and it was like, uh, but sewing like a sewing machine type. Um, and, and I think what I like about these is that each block is like a mini finish because the, the pieces that I have kind of finished have that, that I've really finished that I remember about are kind of like this where there's a block like that I can like boom done with that one move on to the next one and it's like starting a new project instead of a lot of these other ones where it's just like all meshed together you know um so yeah kind of thought about kind of thought about designing some myself that were um have different themes to them I have to like, I, I think what I would do is I would do the alphabet and then I would like pick my theme and then go through each one and then kind of figure it out from there. I, I think I might do that. Um, and this is being stitched on 14 count Ada. I actually bought this with a couple in mind. So hopefully they don't break up. <laughs> they're not, they're like not officially engaged, but she has a ring. 
a promise ring. I'm like, give me a break. That promise ring looks better than my wedding ring did. Uh, okay, so, anywho, that's neither here nor there. Uh, okay, this one is a, I've seen people finish this. I think I've also seen this in, a, in the diamond painting world. Uh, this is called Frederick. Meow. It's a kitty cat in a bookshelf. Isn't he cute? I know I've seen people do this one before. I know I've seen people working on this one before. I think people have finished it. And um, it is also stitched on Black Ada. And I am at... Not really sure why I'm stitching it on Black Ada because I have to... Oh, maybe I don't. Maybe I don't have to. I was thinking I had to stitch the black that was in the design. I think I only stitched the black that's in the cat. Yeah, I only stitched the black that's in the cat, so that's good. And I think maybe the books. Like the book, yeah, the book um, spine. So that's how far I am right now. Yeah. I've gotten one book. Well, two book spines, I think. I don't know. That one's not completed. That one is completed. This one, this spine, except for the back stitching, is completed. And um, I think when I pick this back up again, I kind of, I'm kind of thinking about kind of doing a back stitching as I go kind of thing. Because I despise it that much that I would like to be able to be like, okay, once I'm done with this, I'm done with it. I don't have to go back and back stitch it. I don't know. We'll see. So there's that one. Uh, next up is a pattern that I would like to do. Probably put this in my gray bag too. Um, this is a black work pattern from Peppermint Purple. Love her. Freaking love her. I love her patterns. Um, and this is Sunny Waves. This is not a very good rendition of it because my printer was on the fritz when I printed it. And look at that black work. Isn't that gorgeous? Um, I got to find, um, I got to find, um, fabric to do this on. Got to find fabric to do it on. So I'm going to put that over here because I really would like to do that. All right. Next up. Man. Oh, 14 minutes. That's not too bad. Okay. Next up is another kit that I got way, way back in the day. Again, um, I think, oh, was it in the first video? I came across a kit that I kind of made me laugh because I had picked it up um, to do for my then boyfriend at the time who was really, he was a pothead and he was like into like the, the wizards and the dragons and like American Indian stuff and I got this one because of him too. <laughs> he obviously did not get it. Uh, this is a gold collection, Gift of the Eagle Feather. I don't think I, did I start it? I did start it, okay. Gift of the Eagle Feather. It is really, it is a really nice kit. Now, I got that partly because of him and also partly because I am really digging the picture itself. I love the colors. It's gorgeous. It is really a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. Um, and I, I will say that um, that these these photos, of uh, the, the pictures of the design look a lot better on camera than they do in person. Um, so... What side did I start doing? I went to an edge. I'm trying to figure, I think I went to, I think I started in the middle. I think I went to this edge here. So I believe I should hold it up this way. I'll work my way to the edge. Why I did that, or maybe it's the other way. I'm not really sure. Again, my previous self did not really plan the fabric very well or plan the pattern very well for I'm looking to see if I can I never marked my patterns I never marked the pattern so I have no idea where I'm at on it I'll figure it out eventually but it's gonna be one of those things where I sit down and I'm like okay got my, got my fabric got my pattern and then, yeah. all right Next up, oh, the 
this one. It's so cute. I love it. I love this one. Little kitties in the window. This is a dimensions kit. Three bird watchers. Look how cute this is. I can't take it with these. I love cats. I love kittens. Look how cute that is. It is so precious. Oh, side note, speaking of cats, today is um, May 18th, I think. It is, I am on um, Facebook, one of my memories popped up of uh, my cat's Mr. Whiskers of his very first picture. So today is his gotcha day. Isn't that right, Mr. Whiskers? Hey, baby. Today's his gotcha day. So today's the anniversary of when I first got him five years ago. I've had my, I've had my baby for five years. He'll be six this year. I got him when he was nine months old. Okay, anyway, look at how cute this is. Look how precious this little guy is. Look at that face. That's so cute. This is being stitched on, I think 14, no, nope, 18 count Ivory Ada. All right. Next up. Oh, this is a pattern that I want to stitch, but I do not have fabric for right now. And I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna show you real quick so I don't have a picture for it. Kitchen conversions. I've seen people stitching this. This is on Allerton Embroidery on Etsy. And it's super cute. It's got the utensils up at the top. And then um, the conversions are cup, fluid ounces, tablespoons, teaspoons, milliliters, ounces, grams. And it's got a little um, burner, like a single burner. And then it's got temperature in Fahrenheit and Celsius down at the very bottom. So it's really, really cute. And what I really like about it is there's no back stitching on it. Score. <laughs> so I want to find a piece of fabric for that. Okay, next up, another dimensions kit. Can you tell I like dimensions? This is not a gold one. Oh, this is called Walking to Town. I really like Christmas scenes. I really like, I've noticed that. I like the Christmas scenes. Isn't that pretty? And where am I at? And this is stitched on the dark blue Ada. I've actually gotten a decent amount of that done, honestly. Got a good portion of the house. I got some trees. Look at that. Look at that. I haven't done it in a very long time and look how bad I am. I've got my thread with my needle inside my fabric and it's masking taped on the edges. <laughs> oh man, it's so funny seeing stuff from like way back in the day compared to like what you do now. It's called learning, it's a learning process. Okay, so this little thing this little guy right here is, do I have a picture of it at all? I don't think I do. So it's a cute little, it's a Christmas card. Yeah, it's a Christmas card and it's going to be uh, Jolly Old St. Nicholas. I'm kind of doing that because I'm. Mean, you could always pause it and look at the freaking pattern, but you don't know what colors are what. Um, I don't know where I got it. It's been sitting in this envelope. I guess you can put the card in the envelope and mail it. I don't know where I got this from. It looks like it's, wow, 1990. There's a blast from the past, 1990. Jolly Santa greeting card from who? Doesn't even give you the count of the Ada. It's just white Ada. Who is this from? Titan Needlecraft Corporation, maybe. Wow. So yeah, it's a, I, I think this would be a cute little quick stitch to do. So 
it's it's nice to have these little projects like this because if I want to do something and feel accomplished in a couple days, I can pull one of these out and do it and be like, look what I did. Look, look. And I like that it comes in a little card thing because then I can like, like, look, it's all good. <laughs> I have an FFO. All right. So that's there. Okay. My next one is a bib. It's a Bucilla bib. Not completely done. This is what it's gonna look like. Teddy bear, dressed up as a sailor, I think, with some balloons. That's how far I got. I got his... Oh, that was my ice maker, if you heard that. Um, and you know what? I think I might be done with that. Oh, no, I'm not. Okay, it's on the back. I was like, oh, crap. Because <laughs> I have no floss in here. I didn't think I had the pattern, but I got the pattern. It's on the back of this. And, um, but the colors have no numbers on them. They're just yellow, light gold, dark gold. So I can, I can come up with the colors. That's not going to be an issue. My issue is that I'm worried that I might have to... It might be one of those things that I have to unpick it and restart it because, oh, do I have all the red done? I can keep the red in, but I think I might have to unpick the, um, unpick the blue and the gray because I don't know if I'm going to be able to match it to what I have in DMC because I don't have the floss for this anymore. So I might, it's not that many stitches though. I could easily unpick that and not, not really worry about it. But the red I would probably keep in because the red is completely done. Yeah. So anywho, so that's that. And then I got one more in here and then I'll be done with that bin. And then I've got some stuff here on the table to show you and then I will be all done. What am I at? 23 minutes, oh, that's not too bad. Um, okay, last one in the bin is a kit from, um, this is a kit from Creative Accents. This is Rose Drama and I am, oh no, I'm sorry. It's a branch of Dimensions. It's a Dimensions kit. I love this. Again, it's a black Ada, which I despise stitching on, but look at that freaking flower base. Look at those flowers. Look at those roses. That is gorgeous. Have I started it? I don't think I did, nope. I have not started it yet. Yeah, here's my floss. I have not started it yet. I haven't sorted through the floss. I opened it up. I think that, again, this was going to be one of my mania starts, I think. Um, so, yeah, I am like that vase, though. Holy cow. What color is that vase stitched in? Is that white or is that... Oh, it's combination. Um... Yeah, just again, I'm gonna show you again because it is just so pretty. Look at that, so gorgeous. I'm like really excited to stitch it. So, wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's the rose, there's the... It looks like part of it is missing. Okay, so I don't usually show patterns on here, but I might need to show you the pattern on this. I might have to email them, because I got the, I got the, kit code this can't no no hold on a second guys this seems really off so there's couching and back stitching and cross stitch Wow, this even tells you to cover the edges in masking tape. Interesting. Um, okay, so here's my issue. 
is that it looks like I got half of a, all right, so you see the leaves and stuff, right, over here? It almost looks like I've got half of a chart. Look at that. That's not... It gave me the outline of the leaves, of some of them, but it's like missing half the shit. So good luck copying me. Yeah. It didn't give me all of the, and it's not even that it's faded, it didn't give me, so I'm gonna have to email them. That's disappointing. I need to email them and see if they'll give me a, a copy. I'll have to take pictures of this. See if they'll give me another copy of the chart because that's like, all I need is the chart. I Well, I'm gonna go through it and make sure I have everything, but that's wild. I've never seen that before. <laughs> That's so weird. I'll have to follow up and let you guys know what the deal is with that. Okay, so that's it for that bin. Um, okay, oh. All right. So, where'd these come from? Oh, I pulled them out of that one. All right, so this I got as a free goodie with, uh, with what, what magazine was it? One of the magazines I purchased, it came as a free gift. And it is a little bear. And you stitch the, um, I mean, hold on, let me pull this out so you guys can see it. So here's my, here's, here's my floss. Oh, here's a little bow that goes with it. More floss. Okay. So you just stitch the little bear. Isn't that cute? The wor world of cross stitching. I got that magazine. It came as a free little gift. And then it's a card that you can send to somebody because here's the envelope that it goes with. So it's precious. Ribbon bow to decorate your card. Where do I put it? Stitching time, approximately eight hours. Eight hours? Really? Wow. I mean, that is a lot of floss, but I think that might be a little bit excessive, eight hours. We'll see. You never know. I don't really pay attention to... I don't really pay attention to the uh, length of time it takes me to stitch something. Like hour wise, I just know like uh, one thing that I stitched, um, I started, I, like I know what day I started on it and I know when I finished it. Like I started it on a Saturday. Um, I showed it on here. It's not an FFO, but it is a finished stitch. Um, Home by Dimensions, the little kit that I did for my bestie. I got to finish it. I have some ideas. Um, I started that on a Saturday and I finished it on a Thursday. Hour wise, I have no idea how long it took. I just know how many days it took. So there's that. That would be a quick little thing I could do. And then this one, I've seen um, Blitz Stitch do this one. I don't think his was a kit though. I think he actually had the pattern and then he kitted it up himself. I got this at Walmart. It was on sale for $7. That's why I bought it. But this is um, the Eagle. I got this because it reminded me of my grandfather. My step grandfather. He loves he loves bald eagles. Um, obviously, I have not started this, but it says, um, "But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint." That's from Isaiah. So I really uh, liked it, and. Again, I bought this many moons ago and I was going to stitch it and give it to my uh, grandfather. And I mean, he's still alive, but he's like got the dementia and stuff. I don't think I, by the time I finish it, I don't think he would have any idea even who the hell I am that to give it to him. Um, so I probably, I think the things that I purchased to like 
because they remind me of my grandparents. I think I will probably just purchase, um, finish them and hang them up and be like, oh yeah, that reminded me of my grandfather. All right. Oh, this is a nice quick little thing, I think. Um, this is, it's a good little 4th of July piece. It's the Liberty Bell. This is an Artiste mini kit. Isn't that cute? And there's like three colors in it. Yeah, I haven't even opened it. Um, medium baby blue, bright Christmas red, very dark royal blue, and pale baby blue. Oh, and white. Okay, so there's five colors in it. It's just all I can see is like all that dark blue. So yeah, that's a quick little snack size thing that I could do one day. And then this is another one. Um, this is the Gilded Bird Cage. That was by, both of these were our Cooler Design Studio designs. Little bird cage. This is a little mini kit as well. It's super cute. So yeah, as I got it because it was cute and small. Here's another small kit. All you need is love. Love is all you need. This is from Janlin. It's like a little chalkboard thing. So I think if I could find like a little wooden frame like that, it could be like a little chalkboard finish. So this is all white stitched on black Ada. As much as I hate stick stitching on black Ada, I actually do have quite a few designs that are stitched on the black Ada. I kind of find that amusing. Um, this is a bookmark that is, um, <clears throat> it's from Charles Craft, I think, and it's, uh, oh, it's free, I guess, free graph, but anyway, it was just, it was a bookmark, and they give you one that you could do, like, Holy Bible with the praying hands on it, <clears throat> if you wanted to do that. I don't know if I would do that or not, um. So, this is, um, I've not started this one either. This is uh, Designs for the Needle, and it is a little Christmas house. Isn't that cute? Welcome, and then you would put your last name down at the bottom, celebrating Christmas since, you know, the year that your family started. Um... I don't know if I would do it for my family or if I would do it for like, you know, a friend's family. I could do like, I could do it for my bestie and do it uh, celebrating Christmas since the year that her son was born. I don't know. We'll see. It's a cute little Christmas stitch. Anywho, uh, this is another one that I have not opened. I think I was going to do this as a mania start as well. Um, I got this on sale at Hobby Lobby for $5. It was originally $34.99 and I got it on sale for $4.53. Um, this is Autumn Angel. That border is all stitched. That orange border. But I thought it was kind of cute. I'm pretty sure that there is probably, um, one for every season. This is from Jim Shore, I think. I don't know. Design works. Um, I'm pretty sure that there is probably, uh, one for every season, but this is the only one that I have. Again, I got it because it was $4.53. and I mean, you can't beat that. This is a little country primitive bookmark. It says, love me, love my cat. Isn't that cute? Kind of. I got it as a gift. And let me see. This is the fabric it's going to be stitched on. This is a... Let me, oh, now I've got a... 25 count even weave. Wow. No, I didn't get this as a gift. I mean, I got it, it kind of as a gift. Someone's like, oh, here, you can have this. But there's no, um, it's supposed to have the floss in it, and it does not. So it gives me the floss, gives me the floss colors. Right there. I can't show you the other side because that the other side has the pattern. Um, yeah. So, anywho, that um, 
yeah, so I have the floss or the fabric, so I'm gonna have to figure out the floss colors, which again, it's not, it's just time, it's not hard. It's just a little time consuming um, because it gives you the color and then you've got to figure out based on, I like, I have BMC. I don't have Weak Style Works. I don't have the, all, the other, Weak Style Works the first one that popped in my head, but um, I don't have the other uh, flosses. So I would have to uh, figure out what DMC would go with this stuff. So there's that. And then my next one is um, from Busilla, and it's Flowers of the Month bookmarks. There is one for every month, hence the phrase Flowers of the Month. Let me just show you this. And I thought they were super cute. Um, I'm kind of thinking, I've seen finishes done into like, you see that? Is that blurry? I've seen things done into flat folds, and I honestly don't read enough to do bookmarks like that that have that many bookmarks. Um, so I'm kind of thinking what I would like to do if I get around to these is um, stitch them and make them into flat folds, or I could also like make. Like if I do this, I could do like, um, make it like a magnetic thing and then have like, do something that I could put up on my wall and then it'll be magnetic right here. And then as I do, as I go through every month and switch them out, you know what I mean? Know what I mean? I might do that. I don't know, but I gotta, I gotta do them first. So um, okay, so let me see. What else do I have going on here? I showed you guys this stuff in my last floss tube, but I'll go ahead and show you real quickly. This is, I picked this stuff up on Facebook Marketplace. Let me see what I'm actually going to show you. I'm not going to show you this stuff. I'm giving that to my mother. I don't need to show you that. Um, so I picked this stuff up on Facebook Marketplace yesterday, and I showed this in my floss tube video, but if you haven't seen the floss tube video, you're not going to know about it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you now. Um, this is a stamped cross stitch. Again, I don't like stamped cross stitch, but it was really cute, the design itself. So I think what I might do, plus this is from like 1990 or 91. So I think what I might do is I might switch this out and um, re-kit it, but have the pattern because I believe you get the pattern. I think you get, yeah, you get the pattern I believe, I don't know. I gotta really sit down and look at it. I'm not really a big fan of stamped cross stitch, so I gotta figure out if I'm gonna be able to um, do this on anything else. But I really, if I can't, then I'll go ahead and do the stamped, but I don't know if I really want to. Um, yeah, so there's that. And then this next one is uh, Bucilla Christmas, the best of Christmas, and this is a design from Cooler Design Studio. Um, I think I'm probably going to be shopping on their website a lot more often because I have, uh, I had gotten four charts from their website that I really, really like that I'll be showing you. And then, um, a lot of these like little mini kits and stuff are from them as well. So obviously I really like their design. So this is a little Christmas design from them. And I, I thought this was really cute as well. So, um, and then this next one, this is actually a needlepoint kit. I, she sold it to me for like a buck. It's got no floss in it, but um, this is a Noah's Ark, Noah's Noel. Um, and it says, all creatures great and small, God bless them one and all. So it's like Noah's Ark, but Christmas themed. And I don't do needlepoint. But it's a really cute design so I'm just going to kind of set it aside and figure out if what I'm gonna do with it let me just show you real quick let me pull this out and show you real quick because I don't know if, if you don't know how to do needlepoint like this is basically this is how this is how the pattern comes because it's not really a pattern on paper that you're following it gives you the design and then it tells you what colors to stitch 
and there's lazy daisies and French knots. Hold on. Scotch stitch, back stitch, straight stitch, lazy daisies, French knots, cording, and couching. So a lot of specialty stitches in this. But your pattern is on your needlepoint canvas. I do know that much. So again, I'm not really sure if I'm gonna do this in needlepoint or not, because I've never done needlepoint before. But I know how expensive needlepoint can be, so the fact that I got this for a dollar, yeah, there's no floss, but I can get the floss. The fact that I got this for a dollar, that was like a steal. I mean, seriously. The lady was just looking to get rid of stuff, and she was like, well, if I find anything else, I'll let you know. I was like, hell yeah, man, hit me up. I'll take, your, I'll take your stuff. I mean, the most expensive things were the two kits I just showed you. They were like 10 bucks each. And then the rest of this stuff that I got for like my mom and everything, like a, like a dollar. Uh, okay, what, what else do I have? What else do I have? So I'm not gonna show you all the patterns that I have. Like some of them are on like my, um, some of them are on my tablet. Um, this one I have printed out, but it's a black and white photo. This is Basket of Pansies. If you would like to see this in color, this and the next four patterns, if you would like to see them in color, check out my floss tube that I just posted um, because that's where I inserted pictures. I'm not inserting pictures here. I'm just gonna upload the videos and call it a day. Basket of Pansies, very colorful, very pretty. This was actually a free pattern from, it's not free anymore. Free pattern from the crossstitchstudio.com. Every Friday, the first Friday of the month, um, I'm on their Facebook page as well. First Friday of every month, she will put out a pattern for free and it will be available for the next like 48, 72 hours, first week into the month. Um, and this was the free pattern for the month of May. So I went ahead and downloaded it. It's not something I would have normally purchased, but because it was free, why not? And after I looked at it, I was like, oh snap, I have the fabric for it already. Because this is smaller than a lot of their other ones. This is 299 by 355 stitches, which I know a lot of people will say, oh my God, that's huge. Not compared to that first whip that I showed you in my first video from Be that one's from them also, that's Be Still. That's 979 by 737 stitches. It's gonna be monstrous. So this is a baby compared to that. So um, there's that one. Then these next four are from Cooler Design Studio. And they are, again, if you wanna see them in color, cause they are gorgeous, you can check out their website, cooldesignstudio.com. And um, it's winter, uh, spring sampler, summer sampler, autumn sampler, and winter sampler. Um, or you can look at my floss tube. Um, the floss tube number six because I posted pictures for each one of these samplers in the in the end of it when I was going over them. So this is spring sampler. And then I'm not spending a lot of time on these ones because again, I just went over these summer sampler and they're not in color. So it's really hard to see just how pretty they're gonna be. They're gonna be gorgeous. Autumn sampler. Um, I saw the, the one that really got me was winter sampler. I saw Blitz Stitch, I follow him on here. Blitz Stitch did this one, Winter Sampler, he did this one. And it was so beautiful. It was so beautiful when he got it done. I was like, oh my God. And then I already wanted to do it. And then he goes, yeah, there's one for every season. I was like, hold the phone, <laughs> there's a set. <laughs> so I immediately went on Color Design Studio and I purchased all four. I have fabric on the way in it's somewhere i'm not sure if it's in canada still or if it's in the u.s not really sure but i have fabric coming for all four of those um so let's see oh okay so i picked up a couple small patterns so now i'm on to just like patterns that i would like to stitch at some point this year um, these I picked up from 123stitch.com. This is from Country Cottage Needleworks. This is Frozen Hot Chocolate Shop. This is from their, um, I think they had like this whole little uh, set that was like a uh, village 
So this is the hot chocolate shop. I thought it was super cute. So I picked that up and um, I think it's going to, um, I don't know how big, it's going to be really, it's going to be kind of small, I think, which is fine. Like, that's why I got it, because I wanted it to be small. And then this one is from Lizzie Kate, and it is, uh, today was a total waste of makeup. I got this on one, two, three stitch as well. I thought that was really cute. Um, and she's got some others on there. We're not gossiping, we're networking, it's a telephone. Uh, well-behaved women rarely make history and all you need is love and chocolate. But I saw, I saw the makeup one. I thought that was really cute. Um, and then this is another Lizzie Kate pattern and it is normal. It's just a setting on the washer. I thought that was really cute too. So, um, and then this pattern I got from Stitch Area on, um, Etsy. So it's, um, uh, .com, and this is a uh, this is called Disney Kid. It says, I am a Disney kid. I have battled dragons, pirates, and evil queens. I have wished upon stars and flown to Neverland. I dream impossible dreams. I have seen magic. I have watched elephants fly. I know the meaning of Ohana and Hakuna Matata. I reach for the sky. I believe in fairy tales. I will have courage and be kind. I am a Disney kid. So, that's what it looks like. It is in um, all black. And I'm kind of thinking, I'm I'm wavering on what I wanna do. I'm gonna do one of two things. I am either going to go through and change each line. I think I would, uh, I, I'm going to change, I, I'm either going to change each line to a color to represent what movie it's from, sort of. Um, or kind of like, like the evil Queens kind of, I would probably do in like a purple or like a lime green because that's usually what the Queens are dressed in or like purple or green. Um, you know, like I've watched elephants fly. I could do that all in gray, but put the elephants in pink, like for Dumbo. Um, you know, just different things like that. So I could change the colors. She does have one on there that is in color. But I saw this one and I just got this one um, that was in all black. Uh, and I think my other thing that I could do is I also had thought about getting a multicolored fabric, a hand dyed fabric that was like because this is in all black, like a really bright, like tie dyed or hand dyed of some sort, bright colored fabric to stitch this on because it's in black. And that this is the type of design that you could really do some crazy um this is the this is the thing that you could really do some crazy funky fabric and it will it will work. So I kind of I kind of am thinking I might want to do that. Go with the fabric because I've never stitched on like those funky fabrics before and I, I kind of want to try it out. So there's that. Um, and then oh this is I had mentioned in my previous um, in part one. This is a pattern I don't know where I got it from. My family is from Minnesota. Like my grandmother's and grandfather's uh, side of the family, they're from Minnesota. They're, they're all like Norwegian. Um, I think my grandfather was the, oh God, my mom, my mom found out on Ancestry.com. He was like the first or I think he was the first generation born in America. So I guess that would make me the third because it was him and then my dad and then me. Um, so I think I'm third generation American. Um, but they're all from Norway, my dad's side of the family. Like, I mean, you know, the other stuff mixed in with them too, but the majority of them are like Norwegian and they're all from Minnesota. And we grew up, uh, they grew, they, not me, uh, they grew up like in Duluth. And this is the pattern, so I can't show it very long. Of course, you could always just, you know, whatever. It's like from 1979. So look, there you go. Like, I don't even know where it came from. Sue Hillis Designs. Now I know where it came from. Um, but it's the map. It's like the outline of the state. And I mean, this stuff is handwritten on here, and it's from 1970. It's so cool. Look, like, look at the, look at that. 
it's like handwritten on there. It gives you the numbers, so I don't know. I don't know. And then it tells you what to backstitch with, like, you know, backstitch with 518. Backstitch what? Oh, the, the, um, the river with 518. Cornstalks with 904, tractor with 310. So it gives you the different things that you got to backstitch um, with what color. So yeah, I thought that was kind of cool. Um, yeah, so I think my grandmother picked it up for me at a garage sale. She got it for 50 cents. Uh, yeah, so I thought I would share that with y'all. I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, let me see. What else do I got? Oh. I think this is the first pattern that I ever purchased that was not a kit from Mystic Stitch Incorporated. It's kind of neat. Multi pages. This was my first like multiple page pattern. Uh, came in a book like this, you know, like it's 15 pages for the pattern. Um, I've had it for many, many years. It's going to be 250 by 200. I've had it for many, many years. I don't know if I'm going to do it or not. I kind of like the fact that I'm not seeing any backstitching whatsoever in this joker. I do like that. Um, and yeah, I just don't know if I'm going to do it or not. Like I said, I bought it. Um, this was my first pattern that was not a kit and I don't know why I bought it. I don't even know where I got it from. I really don't. I don't know. I don't know where I got it from, but there's that. And then this was the second thing that I had purchased that was not a kit. This is Colored Clouds. This is Tropical Cross Stitch Entry Guys. Character Creations. Oh, they're from New Zealand. Character Creations Designs. And this is a multi page pattern as well. And I honestly, I mean, I don't really know if I'm going to stitch this or not. It's one of those things where I'm just going to have sitting there. Um, oh, I've mentioned a few times I had stitched something for my mom that was like Thanksgiving theme, but I couldn't remember what the words were. I was like, I was like, I kept saying, oh, it's like a live, laugh, love thing. Well, I still have the pattern, apparently. I have the, do I have the pattern? Yeah, I have the pattern and I have the picture of what it looks like. That's what it looks like. That's uh, framed and hanging in my mother's house now. Well, she pulls it out at Thanksgiving because she's one of those ones that doesn't like the Thanksgiving, like, you know, non, the holiday stuff hanging up during the non, when it's not the holiday. So anyway, yeah. Um, and then this is a cute little thing. I think I, I, I don't know if I'm actually going to stitch it or not, but this is, um, got, I don't know where a uh, needle magic incorporated. I, I know I'm showing patterns all over the place, but I don't know how else to show you. It says our home are, is our castle. So this must be the throne and it's got a crest up at the top and then like a toilet with a plunger and some toilet paper. down at the bottom. <laughs> Oh man. I love it. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I've had this pattern for like ever. So, um, oh, and I was going to show you guys. I have this book. It's Kathy Livingston's Cross Stitch Artistry. And, um, I, I think some of you guys are familiar with some of her work. I've seen, I feel like I've seen a few of these animal pictures. Um, so she's got... All this stuff, and then there's some on the back, but there's animals on here. And I kind of like this sampler down here. And then there's also some on the back here. I like this sampler up here too. It's from Leisure Arts. 
So I, I thought that, but these animals that are on the front, I feel like I've seen somebody do that tiger before down here. I think I've seen this on one of the Facebook groups that I'm in. Um, let's see. Then I got some magazines. I'm not going to go through those until I actually start stitching something. And then I'm going to, and then I will tell you guys, um, and then I'll tell you guys, there's a little Christmas one that I would like to do. There was one in here. I think it's this one here. Where's the picture? Oh, yes. I think I've seen somebody on Floss Tube do this. Maybe, maybe not. I wanted to do this one. 12 Days of Christmas. Um, this is from... Um, this was designed by Lee Fisher of Stitchy Fish Designs. Um, and it calls to be, it says to be stitched on 28 count antique white cashel linen. Uh, and it's just, depending on which one you want, um, DMC or Sullivan's floss. Uh, this is out of Just Cross Stitch Magazine, December of 2019. That's what the cover of it looks like. There's a few designs in here that I would like to stitch. Um, yeah. So as I go through things and I find stuff that I want to stitch, I will show you guys. But um, I think the only thing that I'm really going to do, a, I'm going to do a flip through on um, will be this magazine here that'll be a separate video i'm gonna do a flip through of this this is the june 2020 just cross stitch magazine i know i've seen other people do flip throughs of it um but um this is the most recent issue and it's still available at, like in the store it's still on the on the in the magazine rack at this at the store so i will show you guys that um i'll do a flip through that okay so i think that is all yeah, I think that's all. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you have any questions or anything like that, go ahead and leave them in the comment section down below. And um, if you would like to see more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. And uh, I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you in my next video. Take care, everyone. Bye.